Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. My name is Kira and if this is one of the first time you're watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. For today's video, it's something that's been going on the internet, I don't know for how long, but I think it's the, called the Wired Google Ask, Answer, Question, Something, Something. So today we are going to do that about South Africa. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and please so watch. So for the first question, it is going to deal with what is South Africa. So I'm just going to say what is South Africa. Okay, so what is South Africa's population? Okay, I really do not know that. But I would say we're not a very overly populated country. Um, it quite... Uh, very dependent on where you are talking about the cities such as Johannesburg and Cape Town as well as Durban are very much populated because that's where all the job opportunities are but the rural areas or places where there are villages are not as densely populated as the urban city is. What is South Africa's time zone? It's the South African standard time zone. I don't really know how many hours ahead of the Greenwich Meridian it is but that's the time zone we fall in what uh, is South, South Africa? Africa known for um this is a hard question because we're known for a lot of things but I would definitely say our diversity in our cultures gold mines definitely we are really known for our gold and uh what's the other thing diamonds our heritage I mean we have such an array of cultures we have um, people that came from India, we have the people that have been living here for years, we also have our own ethnic race, um, which is descendant of the Dutch culture, and that's known as Afrikaans. So I don't, do you want to you wanna add in anything? I'm pretty sure you covered it all, but you did just skip that one. Okay, it's okay. Okay, and what is South Africa's national animal? Sigil, you know this. Uh, bird or both? Oh, oh. Name both. Bird is the blue crane. Then fish is the chilyun. Look at them. When and you say then that. um, we have springboks, right? Yeah, springboks is the name also of our rugby team. They're extremely good, and that's kind of where the name comes from. If you didn't know. Oh, Seidel so just answered what's the national fish, and then our national flower side. The boat, yeah. And the Protea, if you didn't know, um, is the name also of our cricket team. If you ever wondered where they get their name from, that is where it comes from. It's a very beautiful flower that's indigenous, maybe even endemic to South Africa. And it belongs to the Thainbos biome. I'll try and insert a picture here, somewhere here. Um, but it is extremely beautiful when it kind of opens up. The second um question is why is south, south africa? africa so why is south africa regarded as the gateway to africa um this is a hard question to answer but from a historical point of view um we've had a lot of people that were traveling from let's say england pass through the southern tip of south Af southern tip of africa which is um in cape point to go to places in asia such as india and china, china. And so they created a port in Cape Town. It's and like that refreshment station yes. for their trade route. And that basically, when people started populating the tip of Af uh, South Africa, and then obviously when people found out it's such a huge land, they started moving northward. And that's kind of how I think the um, colonization and things like that of South Africa and Africa at large. Came about. Yeah. Why is South Africa a developing country? Sure. I'm okay, you could take this question. Okay. We have an urban and a rural kind of setting and so the distribution of wealth isn't as large but we are developing because our industries are increasing quite quickly, our population is increasing quite quickly and so that's why we aren't developed uh, a as developed yet. country as yet. But I would definitely say South Africa is one of the more um, developed country in terms of uh, the whole of Africa. Why is South Africa called the Rainbow Nation? Sorry? Well, the Rainbow Nation, it's not 
just a disclaimer, it's not because of the colors in the rainbow, <laughs> just letting you guys know that. It's mainly because we're so diverse in like color of skin and stuff like that. We don't disregard anyone as different just because of their color of their skin. So we always stand as a united nation and that is why we are called the Rainbow Nation. Yeah, it's kind of a phrase that came after the, um, the end of apartheid in which there was a lot of discrimination against people of color, especially people that were native to South Africa and Africa at large. So this is a way in terms of bringing everyone together. And as I touched on when I was speaking about what South Africa is known for, we are known for being so diverse in not only the color of our skin, as Sigel said, but also our um, our languages, our cultures, cultures. we our, our traditional way um, in terms of our different tribes and even like me Foods. as an Indian, our food, everything is just so um, colorful and diverse and but united in a way. Why is South Africa ZA? Okay, so I actually didn't know this until about two weeks ago when I was watching um, something facts about South Africa. I'm just such a nerd. But in that they said it's because the Dutch or German word for South Africa, I just <laughs> I was speaking accent, um, for South Africa is Zaid Africa and that's Z-U-I-D and then Africa with the K. And so that's how ZA kind of And that's stuck. quite close to Afrikaans, Zed Africa, which shows that it's a derivative of like Dutch and stuff like that. Yes. Okay, so the next, next part is South Africa. That's our topic for this Is one. South Africa is the question. So the first thing that comes up is, <laughs> is South Africa a country? Yes. yes, it's the southernmost country of the whole continent of Africa. I know a lot of um movies especially of the american um nation nation they refer to africa as a country and that actually is very inaccurate africa is a continent we have so many countries that people don't know of because of the misconception that it's a safari and stuff like that yeah but um yes south africa is a country is south africa safe i think no matter where you go in any country, there will always be... Um, Some sort of crime. Yeah, there will always be crime. In terms of South Africa, unfortunately, we have a very high crime rate in terms of um, gender-based violence. And yeah, that would I say be... Mm, that would be the biggest crime issue um, as of now. And that in including the high unemployment rate also contributes to our high crime rate but i think just south africa is a very beautiful country and it just depends where you are i think it's important to say safe no matter how safe a country seems to be i've lived here my entire life and i feel south africa definitely is one of the most safest countries but i think it just depends on what you're looking for um what? Is South Africa Lockdown. a third world country? Yes, it is a it is a third world country, um, as we explained South previously that it is a developing country. Is South, South Africa, Africa lockdown extended? extended? So we just hit our lockdown day one hundred yesterday. Um, we have initially had a three week, I think, lockdown like national lockdown when no one was allowed out except for like essentials. And then it was extended by two weeks. And um, how our system is working is that I think we have five, five levels, levels. Uh, with five being the most extreme kind of lockdown with no strictest. Going out yeah. at all. Whereas number one is the more lenient. We are currently on level um, three. How did apartheid end in South Africa? So Nelson Mandela um, went to prison. I'm just going to, there's obviously many other factors that go into this, but basically, Nelson Mandela was exiled for 27 years and um, there were so many anti-apartheid movements to kind of get him out of that. And one of the biggest things is that companies started pulling out from South Africa, um, the fall of the Soviet Union as well. In South Africa, um, the people of color were actually told to be communist. And so when the Soviet Union kind of fell apart, 
that was um, an excuse that could not be used by the National Party who had started apartheid. And when that happened, the economy kind of fell apart. And so they had no choice but to um, um, kind of let Ma Nelson Mandela go and finally bring about democracy. There's obviously so many more events such as the... Um, the Rivonia trials and Pretoria um, the yeah the Pretoria Women's March and the Black Consciousness Movement led by Steve Biko that contributed to that. But those two things are probably the most um, popular or most known reasons how apartheid. And then how did the Dutch colonize Africa? So if you didn't know, um, the Dutch I think colonized South Africa first, and then it was Britain after that. But with the Dutch, as Sigel said. There was ports that were set up, and one of the ports that were set up were in Cape Town was by the Dutch East. What the Dutch? D E I C. Yeah, the Dutch East India Company, and it was led by Jan van Riebeek, who came from uh, what is it called? Netherlands, present day Netherlands, and he came through, and he was going towards Africa for um, India towards trading, and the halfway point was. Um, Cape, Point, Cape South Africa. Point in South Africa and that's how they found that this place is actually really good but another way is um, that when gold and diamonds were discovered in South Africa a lot of other countries came about and also started colonizing. When is South Africa going to level two or level three? This is referring to our lockdown. I'm not the government, so I don't know, but level <laughs> three is what we're currently on and that came into effect on the 1st of July. When is lockdown ending? Also, do also not know. Don't, don't know. When are South African schools opening? Hopefully by the yes. end of this our year. Our grade sevens and our matrics, if you don't know what matrics mean, it's just your grade twelves for yes. your seniors. Um, they've <clears throat> gone back to school because... Um, we don't have like middle school, elementary school, and then high school. Our grades go from grade 1 to 7, and that's just primary school. And then grade 8 to 12, which is um, high school. And so grade 7 and 12 are like your last years of the two respective phases of school. And so they've gone back. I, I don't even I think they went back on the 8th or the 12th of June. I honestly can't remember. Yeah. And then they said that the second lot of children are phasing um, in now. Are phasing in in mid July, and then my sister, who's in grade nine, probably will go back On in August. August. 3rd. But this is obviously all up to kind of how bad things get during those times. In terms of university, I don't think I'm going back for the rest of the year. They've only called in final mid year students, third years, and honor programs. Because they obviously have to um, do a lot of lab work in order to graduate or get the degree that they've been working towards. But yes, for me, I'm a second year, so it's it's not as a crucial year as first year or second year. I mean, first year or third year. So I don't think I'm going back for the rest of the year. Um, when, when is South, South Africa, Africa what? getting Fortnite servers? Um, I, I don't know anything about Fortnite. So I, I don't play Fortnite, so yeah, I'm not I can't sure. answer, answer any of that. And then, let's see if I just put in South Africa. Okay, South Africa. The other thing is South South Africa's, Africa's official, official languages. languages. Sigil, you can answer this one. I don't know all of them, but we do have a lot of languages, if I can say. We For have nine provinces, I think you can say... We have we have eleven official languages, mm. but those are just because those are the most widely spoken. We also have different other ones which don't make that. And as I said before, we're very diverse in our culture, and that comes with a lot of languages. So, from what I can remember, our eleven official languages are English, Afrikaans, Zulu. Um, please oh, don't sir. yeah, please don't come for me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm really sorry. Um, Venda, Pedi, Sutu, Indebele, uh, in yes, Tswana, um, Shona, no, 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 no and I'm forgetting so two, but there are two others. Then, South African news, 
Okay, well, everything that's going on with South African news right now, it's literally stuff to do with coronavirus and how everyone is currently dealing with that. On a side note, um, this time is very hard for everyone and it's been a very long road to um, recovery. To recovery. We, and I don't know how far we are from it, but just keep on staying positive. Keep on... Um, keeping yourself busy please 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 social your, distance yes social distance just because there's lockdown regulations um that are kind of east not only south african places like america please 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 continue to stay home as much as you can avoid going to public places keep your social distance and have hand sanitizer on hand should you come back when you come back put your masks straight in the wash somewhere outside go not bath inside before go and bath contact. take off your clothes please i've seen so many i'm not gonna name names but i've seen so many youtubers like just going to um groceries uh grocery malls and going shopping and going to places and not even wearing a mask or keeping their social distance and i feel that's very irresponsible because um for their own health as well as for their viewers so please try and stay home as much as you can. There's um, been other outbreaks like this before and we are lucky enough that we have the level of communication to allow um, us to know what's going on. So please let this um, be a warning um, to stay home from not only us, from all um, government officials, from all the world health organization and the other medical centers that are providing us with statistics please stay home as much as you can it will never be too much to ask to ask you to stay home for your own safety as well as others don't take it for granted remember it is easing like when it comes to levels and stuff we might be going down but remember it doesn't mean coronavirus is over at all it mm. just means that we're trying to open up and like allow people to go out but what your responsibility is is to please follow the rules and regulations yeah so that is the end of the video i really 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 hope that you guys enjoyed this i really enjoyed filming it i'm sure my sister did as well if you guys would like us to do another one like this such as um about Bharatanatyam dances as i've said before me and my sister do that or um, our culture in general yes do another questions about that this is really fun and i feel it's a great way to expand your knowledge especially now when we are on holiday or not um in school it's a great way to learn about something but yes please you can me. even like leave questions for us i was just about to say to that and we can try and get back like to a that. q a and yeah Please, please, please stay safe and have a great week filled with so much love, happiness and positivity. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.